Hello again, welcome to another Handy Dan episode on my little smart car. We're going to add a little bit of flair. Right here we're going to be putting some hood pins. Got this little hood pin set here. Because when I made this custom grill, I didn't like these little cutouts. So I'm going to make a new piece of filler here that goes across. These are hard to open. They have this tiny little tab here that you have to push and pull, but it's slippery and you can't even grab it. So we're going to get on this video. Right, first we're going to line this about where we want it. Kind of lined up to the headlight. What we're going to do is tape it. Like so. Okay. Let me open these up. Alright, so now we see this goes here. So we're about a half inch from the edge. Fold a piece of paper here. Stick this in here. We're going to copy. Okay, we're going to copy this profile here. And that's about where we want the hood pin. So there's it straight and then it curves. We're going to take this, measure it, draw this up. Okay, we got this piece. We just printed a test piece just to get an idea. We got the cut for the notch. Screw this in here. We can take this and stick it here. And there it fits in. And you can see the nice fit. Not that you're going to see this anyway. a little that's where it's going to close on the hood so that means it'll be right there that's a good look
Okay, here I need to tap the holes half 20 to match the hood pins. We'll just mount this in the vise. Here's our drill. If you go slow, the PLA will tap fine. Make sure it's nice and straight. I have over one inch deep of threads. These are the whole thing. Look at that, threads in perfectly. And these holes are the ones I put extra walls on to print for the mounts. And this is the guide that will line them up using this lip and matching the car. Okay, here's that guide. It has this edge here that fits on the car. Line the screw holes right up to the bracket. Okay, we're going to use these number 10 screws. No. Here's an old trick I used to transfer marks. Good old Elmer's glue. Just put a little dab on the tip of the pin. And just push down gentle and straight. See the transfer marks? Lines right up. And I'll drill them out. Put some more glue to transfer the pin to the hood level. And get it nice and straight. Push down gentle. Up 
Go to the light, yeah, and there you can see it. I'll draw those out. Just a small bit. Quick check, you can see that it lines right up. We'll drill those out a half an inch. A little bit of transfer marking for the mounting screws. Here's the transfer. Take my Dremel and cut that out. The original hood lock lines up anyway, so I'm going to cut a little bit off the top. Okay, now I'm going to raise the hood pins up above the hood level. Okay, now we're going to take these off. We'll just close this. Forget about it. Okay, now we got everything cut. We got these little plates. We're gonna set those on there, clean up the hole, the hood pins. I'll just go right through there like that. We got these little screws. We're gonna put these in, get these lined up how we like.
That was pretty easy. Now we're going to get on to redoing the grill. This is a perforated aluminum sheet from McMaster Car. This is what I used originally. I have this extra piece left over. Okay, I have these little nibblers. They're kind of slow, but they do make a clean cut. Okay, here I got the new one cut out. Now we gotta put this back on. Now we're going to tighten up the nuts on the hood pins.
Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments if you have any questions. Please feel free to subscribe and hit that like button. Thanks again for watching.